gonna take a few moments to take a quick look at the advanced drafting functionality found in Trimble Business Center Heavy Construction Edition. The advanced drafting module is an add-on to the core module and will provide some additional features for enhancing your projects and creating plan sets and plan sheets. Let's take a look at some of the neat features inside of the advanced drafting module. We're gonna start on the end of the drafting tab and we're gonna take a look at labeling objects as well as dimensioning and even work our way over to inserting blocks and hatch patterns and so on. But let's take a look down here at some of our, uh, our project here. So in our project, we have these rectangles. And these rectangles, if we take a look at them, have uh, names. We've already named them with uh, what they are. So they've already been given a, an attribute of what that object is. And now we want to go ahead and we want to add some labels to this. So if we go to the label style manager, you'll see that you've got the ability to create label styles, not only for line styles, but also point styles as well as polygon styles. So if I was going to label a line, I might use the standard, which would give me the bearing and distance of that line. I created a new one called length only, which is going to label the length of the line. And then I also have some polygon styles. So here I've got some polygon styles for name only as well as name and area. Once you have those set up to go to the proper layer, the proper text size, so on and so forth, you simply start adding labels. So I need to add the labels. I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna start by adding in, let's say the polygons. We'll, we'll label those first. And I only want the name only for these first few blocks that I'm gonna label up, or these boxes I'm gonna label up. I can set the rotation angle, so I know that this is uh, gonna be oriented this way, so we'll set that first. And then let's we'll go ahead and select the polygon to label. You can see that you can select multiple polygons if you want as well. So if I pick that one, it's gonna label there. If I was to come down here and pick this one and this one and add those, you can see it labels those as well. I can then switch over to the lines and let's say I wanna add the length to these lines. So I can come in here and just pick on select segment and I could label that object with the bearing or the distance of that line. Now, additionally, I have the same functionality. If I don't want to use just those label lines, I could use dimensions. So we have dimension styles as well. So I can come in here and set up the dimension styles for uh, the way I want this to look. I can choose the position and everything, text size. And then I can start labeling. I can either label the angle or a linear. So if I use linear, I can either use two points or I can use a line arc and segment, or a line or arc segment. So I'll go ahead and just pick on this object here, and you can see we can label this as well as that. So if we want to use dimensions versus just labels, we can choose that feature or that option. Additionally, we have the ability to hatch areas. So let's say we want to create a hatch pattern. We can maybe select this object or the multiple objects that we have here. And we could come in and choose a pattern or a style or you know other user-defined type hatch patterns. So we'll just pick on uh, predefined and we'll select solid. And we'll just go ahead and preview it. And you can see that it hatches it in, fills it in with a, a transparent hatch. And we can just hit apply. And now we've added a hatch pattern to those objects. We can also import blocks, we can create blocks, and we can even purge the blocks. Once we have the blocks inserted into the project, we can just insert a block. We can come in here and we can choose the block that exists in our project. We can set the layer that we want it to go to. So let's say we're just gonna grab that layer there, put it on the helicopter layer. We can apply an elevation. We can also apply a scale. And then let's go ahead and pick a location and a rotation angle. So let's go ahead and pick the location. Let's say we're gonna drop it on the pad there. We'll leave it at zero, we'll click insert, and now you can see we've got the helicopter in there. Scale's a little bit off, but you can just come in here and adjust that accordingly. Or if you do put the wrong scale in, you can come in here and you can rotate this guy around as well as look at the properties of it. And with the properties, I can come in here and I can uh, change the scale in this edit box for the different X, Y, and Z directions. And that will give me the proper scale of that helicopter. 
Now, once you get everything labeled up, set the way you want, the real power of the advanced drafting module comes into actually producing your plan sheets. So the first thing you would do is you would insert what's called a drafting template. And that drafting template is gonna have your settings and stuff already pre-configured. So you may have to do this the very first time and then save it so that you have these settings later on. You can see I've already brought one in and I've made some modifications. I changed the name of it. And I've gone in and I've actually edited. So you right click on the sheet set and you come in here and you edit the settings and the parameters and properties for your sheet. So you would come in and you know add some title block information and maybe an image. That's what this icon here will do uh, for a, a, your logo. And then you would do the same thing for your cross sections. Once you have those, it's simply a matter of right clicking on plan and profile, telling it to build the sheets. It's gonna create a series of Dyna views. Now here, this is associated with my runway. So I've got plan and profile sheets and I can just right click and create new sheet view and you'll see that it's gonna give me a sheet for that particular view. Then I could come down here and select the next one. Or since this is selected, if I roll my wheel, move on to the next sheet. So here I'm on sheet four, sheet five, sheet six. I can just kind of scroll through each sheet. You can also just go ahead and select those. Same thing applies to the cross sections. So if I was to right click on cross sections and tell it to build the sheets, once I've already had all the parameters set, you can see it generated all my sheets for me. I can then come in here and I can look at a new sheet view. I can look at the properties of these cross sections. Same concept, I can come down here and change to a different sheet. The hatch patterns and the areas in here that are filled in can all be controlled and that's done through the editing of the sheet set. Once you have all that, then it's just a matter of coming in, you got everything set the way you want. You can then go ahead and create or print a plan set. You can choose the plan set, you can uh, print single sheet, or you can comp uh, plot the entire set. Send it out to a PDF file or to your plotter. So those are some of the main functions of the advanced drafting features. Uh, contact your local SciTech dealer to learn more and to find out more about the Trimble products and software and support that they offer.